So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can start your own dropshipping store on a low budget with WooCommerce. Most of the gurus and coaches out there are showing you how to start a dropshipping store with Shopify. But to me, Shopify is a bit limited and can also become very quick, very expensive. So in this case, we're going to show you how to start a dropshipping store with WooCommerce in a couple of minutes and you can be launching by the end of this video. Now, let's not waste any more time and jump into the video. First of all, in this video, you are going to learn how to start a dropshipping store with WooCommerce. We will walk through the steps, start with a hosting provider, install and configure WooCommerce, create a design in five minutes, configure payment methods, configure shipping methods, and import products to your store. And after this video, you're ready to go live with your store. And I will have a little extra bonus for you. Now let's start with purchasing a hosting plan and therefore you go to wusa.com slash cloud86. You scroll down, there you can see all the plans they have and we can start with the start plan. Based on the contract period, you will have certain discounts. But in this case, I will start with monthly because I'm not sure if my dropshipping store will become a success. Then you can register a new domain if you don't have a domain yet, or if you already have registered a domain, you can use your own domain. I will register a new one and I also want to have a .com domain. But if you want to have a local domain, for example, .de, .be, .eu, then you can select it in the dropdown. Now let's see if the domain I want is available. Luckily it is, and we can add it to the card. Now continue to the next step. There we see again what we have selected for which contract period and if we want a free migration service. In this case, we will start from scratch so we don't need the migration service. But if you want to move to Cloud86 from a different hosting provider, then this might suit you. Now let's go to the next step. There we will be informed that our domain is linked to the hosting we have selected, which is perfect. And then again, we will go to the next step. We will create a new account, so I will fill in my details. We agree with the terms and conditions, and of course we need to do a payment. And in this case, you can use either credit card, ideal Apple Pay or bank contact, which means they can support payments worldwide. I will choose ideal because I'm coming from the Netherlands and I will click the checkout button above. Now our order is placed and we're immediately logged into the client area. So if we go continue to the client area, there we will see the services we have purchased, including the domain. So here are my services and when we click on it, we can see WooCommerce Start, which is connected to our door watch. When we click on that, we can also log in to Plesk and there the magic happens, that's over here. Because from there, we need to install WordPress. And as you can see, because we already have chosen the hosting plan for managed WooCommerce, WordPress has already been installed. Now we can log in to WordPress. Uh, we do not have an SSL yet, but we can fix that later on because it's included in the hosting of Cloud86. We are now in our WordPress backend with just one click and also WooCommerce is already installed and we can add our products also. So that's really nice. That was just a couple of clicks. I went into Plesk. I clicked on the WordPress icon, I installed WordPress myself and it included directly WooCommerce. So that's very nice. No technical and savvy stuff necessary for this part. So now what we want to do is to design our website and we can do that just in a couple of minutes. Therefore, the first thing we need to do is install plugins. So we go to plugins, click on add new plugin and then search for Elementor. And Elementor is one of the most common page builders used for WordPress websites and WooCommerce stores. We click on activate and there we have it, Elementor. Now the next step we need to do is go to appearance and then go to teams. And there we go to search a new team, which is called Bloxy. And also here we can install Bloxy for free. Both Elementor and Bloxy are free to use, but if you want to have more functionalities, then of course they have a premium plan. If you want the premium plan for Bloxy, which is of course advisable when you're up and running maybe, you can go to wusa.com slash Bloxy and there you will have the pricing plans they offer and those pricing plans are per year. 
They also have lifetime pricing plans, which means you just purchase it once for $199 and you will never pay anything again. You will receive updates, etc. So please consider to also use um, Bloxy Advanced. Now, the difference between Advanced is of course the functionalities, but it's also the ready to import starter sites. So we are going to import a free template, of course, because we want to do this dropshipping store entirely free. Uh, but if you want to have a pro template, for example, like you see over here, then you, of course, need Bloxy Pro. Now, let's not waste any more time and let's go back to our WordPress admin page and click on the dashboard. We have installed Bloxy, so the only thing we need to do now is install Bloxy Companion. And with this, we can import the starter sites, for example. So let's wait a couple of seconds and you will see a menu item will appear here. Um, here you can also change the colors, but let's start with just importing the site. The starter site over here, you can see the free templates available. And the one I really like is uh, the template gadgets because you can filter over here. Let me show you e-commerce, for example. And then you see furniture, e-bike, pottery, all common for uh, e-commerce. But the one I really like is gadget um, or is home decor. And you can also preview the templates on a live site to walk through them. So in my case, I want to import um, this one and then you can choose to also import a child theme which is a bit of technical but let's just do it let's say you want to hire a developer in the future to do some customizations then a child theme is very common and very convenient to use um, you can choose to use Gutenberg or Elementor page builder we want to use Elementor um, and you can choose if you want to install necessary um, plugins. This, in this case, it's a contact form, which is fine. We can install that. And we, of course, also want to import the content just to have a reference how it looks like. And we can change it later on when we will work on our design. So now it's going to install and import the starter site. And you will see we will have like an entire design store within minutes. And the only thing then we need to do is to change our colors, add our logo. But that's something very easy and straightforward to do. Kabam, and it's done. And now there's two things we can do. We can customize the site or we can view the site. Let's view the site at first. And then you can see it's entirely imported, the entire template. This is your site, our door watch um, at this moment. And we can click on every single page. Every single page is designed. So this is really insane. Now we can also customize it, of course. And with customizations, we're talking mainly about the colors you want to use. And of course the logo, I advise you to have limited adjustments on this part. So you can do that over here with general, you can change the layout, the buttons, um, but also over here, you can change the colors. So over here on top, you can change the color scheme, uh, the colors you would like to use. Uh, we have the header, of course, where we can change the logo. Um, you can upload your own logo um, and you can also change, of course, uh, the typography. So over here, you can change the fonts um, for every single um, thing in your site. If you want to change the actual pages, then of course you will go back to the WordPress admin. You will go to pages and there, for example, you can say, I want to edit the home page with the Elementor page builder. And there you can make actual changes in content like images, etc. Now I will not show you that this is something you should just learn yourself. You can click on literally everything. Let's say a door watches um, and change it. It's very easy and straightforward. We will jump into that a bit more in another video. For now, let's continue with setting up our dropshipping store. The next step is uh, configure payment methods. So what we want to do, of course, let's go back to the site. We want to um, have the availability to let people pay for the products they want to use. And for that, we need a payment provider. So a payment provider can be added through plugins. So if we go to plugins, and we go to add new plugin. There we can uh, search for Stripe, for example. And then the Stripe plugin will pop up. WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway, which is developed by WooCommerce. Um, payment plugins for Stripe. Um, but I think this one is the most common one to be used. In my case, I use Molly. And Molly is from the Netherlands. 
um, but it's like the most convenient for the Netherlands. So I will install it right now and I will activate the plugin. I will not configure it now with the API key and stuff, but I can show you at least how to enable payment methods in your checkout. So when we go to WooCommerce and then go to settings, this is common for every single payment provider. We can go to the payments tab and let me first enable the test mode key. I will save the changes that will enable um, the Mali integration. And from that point on, I can move to payments and I can see the payment methods available for this particular Molly account. Of course, they have way more payment methods available, but it's depending on the API key. So in this case, I can disable it or I can enable it. And also when I click manage, I can choose uh, how I want to call this payment method. And I can also choose where to show it and where to not show it if I want to charge any additional fee, etc. Um, now this payment method is added to our store. So if we go to the store, if we go to products, we will put a product in our cart, go to the cart and proceed to checkout. You will see now that we have payment methods, ideal and bank contact available. So we can now place an order and, um, yeah, everything is done and well to earn some revenue. Now, last but not least, um, we also have shipping methods, of course. And for example, I'm located in the Netherlands. Uh, so I will call the, sh the zone name Netherlands. And then I can also search for that particular country and select it. And then I can add multiple shipping methods. So what I want to do is I want to add a free shipping method, which will be a minimum order amount. And if people will purchase above 50 euros, then the shipping will be free. But if they will not do that, then we will charge them a flat rate and that flat rate is 495. So create and save. So this will mean if um, someone has a lower amount of 50 euros, we will charge shipping cost. If they will have a higher amount above 50 euros, we will charge nothing and it will be for free. Now let's purge the cash. And let's try again to check the checkout. Well, in this case, you can see uh, 249, but we also need to have our address added to calculate the shipping. So let's say we're in the Netherlands and there you will see it. Free shipping, the flat rate is not uh, selected. So that's really, really nice because then you can also give them an incentive. If they like purchase more at your store, then they will have an incentive. So we've walked through every single step except for the import products to your store. And that's a bit more related to the bonus I have for you. Because as you might know, my company is Woosa.com. And with Woosa, we um, sell dropshipping plugins. So if you go to plugins above and you click, for example, VidaXL, you can start your free trial period for the VidaXL plugin. And we have other videos already where we show the import process of our dropshipping plugin. So what you can do, start your free trial today send me a message on Instagram, which is jesse underscore rich, and I will extend your free trial period for free. Instead of 14 days, I will extend it to 30 days. And you can also, of course, send us messages and support quest questions to our support desk or through Instagram to help you out and start with making money with dropshipping through our plugins. So that's also the bonus import products with one of our dropshipping plugins. If you have any questions, please hook me up also on Instagram and hopefully I will talk to you soon. If you like this video, then please comment below, subscribe to our channel. We are going to publish way more useful videos for you and hopefully you will make your dropshipping store successful. Good luck.